Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. Now, I uh, wanted to do a demonstration of the new Glide Lock clasp that's on your uh, uh, that's on your Rolex Submariner. Now, there it is closed. So, what I'm going to do is demonstrate how to use the Glide Lock. So, obviously, you open your deployment clasp, and then when you look inside here, and this, of course, is the most current model uh, Submariner. It's the uh, non-date ceramic. But when you look inside your, uh, underneath this part of the clasp, you'll see here that this has some little ridges in there. You can see those ridges. Now, a good uh, authorized dealer is going to position this to where it's in its uh, tightest position when it's fitted to your wrist. And the reason being is that if, you, uh, if your wrist expands, all you have to do to use this glide lock you pull up on this and you'll hear it snap out like that and then you can glide see that that's in the full position right there and then you just snap it back down if you want to make it tighter again you just pop that out and I'll see if I can get this on the camera see it slides it slides that way or it slides that way you can stop in the middle like if I want to stop there I can stop there and then snap it back in place and you can see here the uh, there's room in there now because it's looser than it was now when I pop it back out I'm going to slide it all the way back down uh, into its tightest position And now it's back in its tightest position, as you can see there, as it's all the way down there. So uh, this is a cool, uh, a cool feature for a dive watch. Uh, it's also handy if you want to put it on over a, uh, over a wetsuit. All you got to do is simply, like I just demonstrated, slide that out, uh, maximize the, uh, the length, and it'll give you some extra room. Now see this right here, I like, I like to wear my timepiece is kind of tight. So you can see that's the tightest, but I'm going to show you in the loosest setting here on glide lock just to uh, to give you an idea of the degree of adjustment you can get just from doing that like I said no tools required and see now I mean I can stick easily stick my finger in there you know so I mean it, it gives you a good a bit of uh, of adjustment capability I mean there's a lot of people that like the old uh, like the old class better but you know, I, I like this glide lock. I think it's, I think it's very user friendly, and it provides that micro adjustment there that you, know, you don't have to use any tools. It's quick and easy. See, I just changed it back. Now I'm back in my tight position, like I like, I like to wear my watch kind of tight. Personal preference there. But uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't uh, subscribed, I encourage you to do so. It's youtube.com forward slash guy, and share this video and any of my videos with others. Also, be sure to check out all my other hor horology videos. Y'all have a good day.